Great fishing is not that far away. Welcome to Illinois Outdoors with Don DeGina. Yeah, good morning. We had a good day, I think. I tell you what, this is, looks like we're going to have a beautiful day today. How you doing, everyone? I'm Don DeGina, and you're watching Illinois Outdoors. We are up on a Cisco chain just outside of Land Lakes, Wisconsin. This is one of those destination trips that we've often talked about, the place where a lot of people from Chicago come to for their summer fishing vacation. You get a lot of people from Chicago out here, don't you? Indeed, yep, quite a few. <laughs> This here is Pat Sheehan. He is a guide up here in uh, in the in the in the uh, Cisco Chain area in the Land of Lakes, and uh, go to a number of different lakes. And uh, primarily, you're a muskie guide, but you do cover just about everything, don't you? Yeah, out of necessity, you know, a guy uh, can't just survive on muskies. So you know, we do a little walleye fishing, some bass fishing, northern fishing, and you know, and muskies. So. Okay, we're going to fish the Cisco chain today and uh, we're going to have kind of blue skies. Uh, it's pretty bright out this morning, and, uh, but we may have some wind. Uh, what, do you, what do you suggest that we go for? Well, today I was, I was thinking we'd uh, do a little walleye fishing and uh, it seems that lately the, the pike are kind of swimming with the walleye, so we'll get a mixed bag of things. Well, uh, it's been pretty much a weed bite, so... Let me just re reach over here. We're fishing the weeds. You know, uh, anywhere from, let's say, 10 to uh, 4 feet of water, and we're casting these weed weasels. Okay, so we're, we're casting weed weasel, weasel jigs? Uh, tipped with a minnow, and it's just that simple. We're working it along the bottom and just kind of jigging that through the weeds and, you know, waiting for that bite. So that's been, that's been the way it's been going lately anyway. So. All right, you use the weed weasel jigs. Why? Because they work. Uh, quite honestly, they're the best weedless jig I found I've been doing this for quite a while and those work you can go through thick weeds um, and bring it back without anything on them you know other than your minnow and hopefully a fish right? yeah, basically since they have the uh, kind of like a minnow head to them and then they have a plastic uh, weed guard correct see you know the biggest deal is it's thin it's not like your standard round ball that that's that's going to catch more it's got the weed guard it's thin it, it just works. Plain and simple, you know, it works. And, a, and actually, it's a very strong hook. It's not a wire hook. Right. You know, and after fishing so. weeds all day, you know, um, the more times you come back without any weeds on the end of your jig, the better off you're going to be. Well, we're using medium light action rods, and uh, I think they'll work out pretty well with uh, handling all the fish that we're going to catch you, today. You got it. That'll be perfect. Uh, how about if we just head out on the water? Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to pull it up in a second. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, right under the boat he was. Oh, this guy's a little chunkier than the last one. Yep. Got her. There you go. All right. Thank you, sir. There you go. There you go. That's a legal fish. Famous Cisco chain one more. Yeah, I think they're starting to change their mood a little bit. That's a nice one. We'll let them go, though. He's right under the boat.
that's a nicer one there, Doc. Nice one. Yep. I'll get it. Oh, yeah. Wear them out. Wear them out a little <laughs> bit. I can see him down there. Right under the boat again, bud. This is a he's nice got, walleye. He's got a little more power to him. This is a nice walleye. Woo-hoo! We're going to have to take a photo of this one, guys. Go ahead and get one. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh. Nicely done. That's a 20 incher right there. We got handles. Oh, oh. There we go. Very nice. That's a beauty. Hold on to that one second. Let me sure. get the camera. And I'll take a picture of you with that guy, okay? Sure. Give me the tail down a little bit. Good. Now just a little bit down that way here. Now pick the head up. Just that. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Feels like another walleye, Don. Okay, I'll get the net. <laughs> Actually, look at the screen. There's more right under the boat. Oh, that's. One. He bit really hard. That was a that was there was no question about that one. Thank you, sir. That's okay, son. It'll happen soon. It'll happen soon. Oh, I know it will. I'm not worried about it. I'll tell you what, I'm just glad that we're, we're getting fish on camera so people can see what. With the what lakes like, like they have up at the Cisco Chain have available, you know. Sure, uh, that's and, another. Uh, I don't know, 17 inch or maybe. You know, we spent some time, you know, fishing on Mamie. You know, we're seeing at the uh, Angler's Isle Resort. Uh, what a what a fantastic place that is. You know, they've got basically, you know, you know, they got the two different kind of facilities there. Sure. You got the ultra modern log cabin, the, the executive home they call it, and they right. also have the lodge yeah. out on the island that, geez, I think it's about 100 years old. Oh, what I, I talk about ambiance. It's, you know. it's close, isn't it? It's just uh, so beautiful. But, I mean, clean, comfortable, great facilities. You know, yeah, let that guy go. Uh, just a fantastic place to, for, for, for fishing, for families, for big corporate groups, the whole nine yards. That Angler's Isle Resort, I mean, it's right on the Mamie Lake, which I guess you'd call, on the, call it the south, East. Eastern portion Sorry. of the chain. Yes. Yep. So that works out uh, works out pretty good. And then on top of that, when you go out there, you know, you, they can help you get hooked up with guys like like Pat Sheehan here. That's right. Actually, I've ha I've had uh, quite a few people uh, from there, and they're all very happy with everything there. That's for sure. It's just a beautiful place to stay. You've got the whole island to yourself if you want it. Yeah. You know, that's that's worth its weight in gold right there. Now, you, being on the island, you, you might be a little bit concerned. How do you get out there? Well, you, you can actually go out there by boat, your own boat, or you could use their pontoon. They have a pontoon available for the, for the folks. Or you can actually take and use the boardwalk that goes from, from land by the executive home out to the island. There's a boardwalk that, walk, that goes across the shallow area between the island and land. So it work, works out pretty good. Works out pretty good. Well, there's very few places left around here like like that, preserved as well as that place is. And uh, you know, just with it, like you said, it's ambiance and and, uh, and location. You know, where are you yeah. going to find anything like that? Yeah. You know, it, it, it's just great facilities. It's not that far out of the town of Land Lakes, so you have plenty of opportunity to to, to go and, and do all the shopping, the tourism stuff. There's a lot of tourism stuff in the area as well. And then, you know, on top of that, you can go to nice places like Forest Lake Country Store. Sure. We're about seven miles west of Land Lakes on County Road B. My wife and I have owned this store for five years now. We've turned it into kind of a family-oriented dining and meeting place. We have 
what a lot of our customers say is the best pizza north of Chicago. We do breakfast, big fluffy omelets, thick French toast, uh, sandwiches at lunchtime, paninis, uh, handmade subs, and really delicious. For their cabins, we carry a selection of groceries, ice, a little bit of beer, wine, uh, sandwich supplies, chips, uh, and of course the things for s'mores. You're up north, you have to have s'mores. Check out our website. It's www.forestlakecountrystore.com. If you're up in the Northwoods, please stop by and check out the Forest Lake Country Store. Chicago Southland's finest golf course is the Sanctuary in New Lenox. With their 18 beautiful fairways and greens, the Sanctuary provides a challenge for skills of all levels, and they're located only minutes from I-80 and 355. Golfers are welcome to relax in the Bunker Grill or stop in the Pro Shop for the best in golfing accessories. They're open seven days a week and you can book tee times online at GolfSanctuary.com or by calling 815-462-4653. Monday through Friday, senior golf for 18 holes with cart is only $27 and everyone plays for $27 on Wednesdays. See you at the Sanctuary in New Lenox. Fishing in Alabama can bring you closer to the people you know, and sometimes even those you don't. Which guarantees one thing. Because with the nation's largest artificial reef and the longest pier in the Gulf Coast, people from everywhere come to Orange Beach and leave with fish, and maybe a new friend or two. And once you've caught your limit of fish, bag a few birdies on the nearby Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Visit alabama.travel to plan your trip today. This is Ed's boat. It costs big bucks. <laughs> yeah. This is new Marine Formula Stay Bill Ethanol Treatment. It costs a few bucks. When Ed fuels up, he doesn't add new Marine Formula Stay Bill. Nah. Too bad. Because the ethanol in his fuel caused engine deposits and corrosion. Now it won't start. And repairs are big bucks. Poor Ed. Marine Formula Stay Bill would prevent that. With twice the corrosion protection, four times the cleaners. Now when you fill up and when you store, start with Stay Bill. For all seasons, Wildcat Lodge offers you an unequaled vacation experience with a variety of plans and options, including seasonal specials to fit your vacation desires. Enjoy tennis, swimming beach, horseshoes, basketball, nature trails, playground, and much more. Located four miles north of Boulder Junction, Wisconsin, on our three connected lakes. These are Class A musky waters with walleye, bass, crappies, and panfish. Come up, relax, enjoy, and make Wildcat Lodge a vacation memory you'll always remember. Experience the beauty of Southern Illinois at the Run Lake Resort and Conference Center, located in the heart of the Wayne Fitzgerald State Park. Great fishing, lodging, and dining can be yours right on the shores of beautiful Run Lake. Fishing, hunting, and golf packages are available, and you can stay in one of the hotel rooms, a cozy cabin, or a luxury suite. Enjoy dinner in the Windows Restaurant, and end your day in the outdoors at Riley's Lounge, right on the water's edge. Give them a call at 800-633-3341. Hey, welcome back to Illinois Outdoors. Uh, glad we were able to take a little bit of a break. You know, just get out of the wind for a little bit. It's breezy out yeah, there today, isn't it? Sure it is. It's blowing. Uh, but, yeah, I'll tell you what. Walleyes like wind. Uh, because it cuts down on the light presentation, the, the light, the penetration into the, into the water here. Weeds are up a little bit. We got about that much between the uh, the tops of the weeds and the and, and the uh, surface of the water uh, but we caught a variety of fish and uh, but we're fishing with very light line and you can't just swing that fish in the boat you need a good net that's right so you're you're using one of Frable's nets here you bet I love this net I'll tell you um, this is their conservation series um, meaning it's it's better for the fish because we're letting a lot of these fish go um, and you want them to re return them healthy you know uh, reason being, this net is their conservation series, real small netting, no knots in there to, you know, scratch the fish, remove slime, scratch their eyes, which is an issue as well, right? Um, it's got a nice flat bottom so they can sit, you know, and lay down in this without getting all flat curled up. being bent in half. That's right. So, you know, it works really well. It also, you know, it extends way out so you can get that, you know, when it's away from the boat, if need be. Um, it, it's a great deal. I mean, especially for a one-handed 
operation if you're fishing alone you can extend that all by yourself with with one hand and hold it out there it's nice and light yet it's real strong the bag is sufficient enough to handle a big fish uh, you know I, I just absolutely love it sweeps through the water real nice doesn't have a lot of resistance you know as you're going through to, to scoop so you know it's a great net I, I love it I've, ha I've had this one for a few years and it's just as good as the day I bought it well Pat you're a hundred percent right on that Frable nets they're great nets they, they have a, a great variety of nets that they have on the market uh, today and uh, and I think this one here is the winner I have one of these myself for my own boat really works great but you know what this net doesn't need to be sitting here with us talking about it that's right this net, net needs to be in the water picking up fish let's get back out on the water <laughs> sounds good let's do it there we go okay oh there's another nice one there another 18 incher Take there it. you go bud Beauty. Oh, there it goes. You got one there too. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> that's as close to getting a double as you can think Fantastic. of. Fantastic. Maybe that's what I should do. Just put the rod down and forget about it. I put my rod down so I can net his fish. There you go. And then bingo. Yeah. I think yours is a little bit longer than mine, but nonetheless, some gold. A couple of nice ones. You're good. <laughs> you hit that fish, I saw your rod go, whoa! <laughs> you got one too, I'm there we go. Step, is that going to be safe sitting over there? Yeah. <laughs> Nice job. Nice job, net man. Nice job. Swing him. He's not. Uh, he's got good enthusiasm, but uh, I can get him up here. That's all right. There we go. Probably 15, 16 inch fish. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Got him Start. on a weed weasel jig and a minnow. Good job, man. It works. Good and bad. Not Thanks. Works. Boulder Junction, Wisconsin is the musky capital of the world, offering you a chance at a true trophy. 
But Boulder Junction offers more than just muskie. Fish for walleye, pike, bass, and panfish on 194 crystal clear lakes. If that's not enough to lure you to Boulder Junction, how about free bait? Just stop in the Boulder Junction Chamber of Commerce office and mention Illinois Outdoors. You'll receive a voucher good for free bait. Visit boulderjct.org for details. Start planning your Boulder Junction fishing trip today. The Seasons Lodge at Wren Lake welcomes you to the beauty and splendor of Southern Illinois. With beautifully furnished rooms and condominiums, the Seasons is your ideal destination for family vacation as well as accommodating fishermen and hunters. Make your next stay in Southern Illinois at the Seasons Lodge and Condominiums. Call 1-800-999-0977 or visit their website at wrenlake.org. It is windy out there, and it's sunny, and it's bright. Glad I got my sunglasses on. Yeah, how about it? <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, it, it was breezy out there, but I, it really helped with the fishing. Pat, you did a great job. Thanks. You know, Pat Sheehan, the musky guide. I'll tell you what, if you, if you ever want to get out with somebody for musky or walleye, or even northern pike, sure. or, or just about any of the other species that you take people out for, People ought to get in touch with, with Pat. Pat Sheehan, you know, from up here in the Land Lakes area, up on the, on the Cisco chain. If somebody wants to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Well, uh, generally through my website, uh, my email address is themuskyguide at yahoo.com. That's okay. M-U-S-K-I-E-G-U-I-D-E -E at yahoo.com. Uh, cell phone number is 715-410-4224. 715-410-4224. Four two two four. That's the best way to get a hold of me, really. And the website, themuskyguide.com. Themuskyguide.com. Very good. Well, thank you very much for for taking us out on the Cisco chain today and and, and catching us some very nice walleye. Well, yeah, he caught a few more than I did, you know. But I, you know, and that, that doesn't bother me because I know that he's out here all the time and and he's got the touch, he's got the feel, he knows what he's trying to do, and I'm I'm first trying to figure it out. You were just telling me that you had somebody out here not that long ago that uh, it's, it's taken them a long time to to get the touch of uh, how to get these walleyes uh, with the with the jig and minnow presentation yeah it, you know it's not an easy thing because you're fishing in the weeds you don't know if it's a weed is it a bite is it a, you know uh, it takes a little while to learn that but once you do you know then then you got her down once you right? once you pick up on it and everything but i caught a few fish and, I, and i'm happy with that you know uh just glad to be out here and enjoy it you know and, and and another thing that i enjoyed is staying out at the angler's isle resort just outside of land lakes right on mamie lake which is on the south eastern portion of the cisco chain and uh it's just a gorgeous place you know with the executive home and the and you've got the the, the lodge out on the island and stuff I tell you what it, it gives you the true Northwoods experience I mean it's really uh, it, it, it was really a lot of fun you Thanks. know and uh, just if you if you want to come up stay at the Anglers Isle Resort you know you can touch bases with them through their website anglersisle.com um, the phone number for the resort is up on the screen here and uh, once you get into the resort, there will be a book of information there for you. And some of the information is there is how to get a hold of Pat here, the, the muskie guide. And, uh, and I'll tell you what, uh, he'll take you out on the chain. He'll show you how to catch the fish. I strongly suggest that you do that at the beginning of your vacation, the first two days that you get there. So that way, the rest of the vacation, you could uh, 
go out and, and catch fish on your own. But then on the other hand, if they want to fish with you every day while they're sure. up there, <laughs> yeah. that's even better. There. All the better, right? That'd you be know, great. the Cisco chain up in the Land O'Lakes area is is only about six hours and 15 minutes from the south suburbs of Chicago. That's where I'm from. And you know what that means? That means that great fishing is not that far away. Until next time, I'm Don Gigina, and you are Patrick Sheehan. We'll see you next week. <laughs>